Hello, Sun Prairie Civic Theater. Happy 50th anniversary. Uh, I'm Ken Urso. I currently live in New York City, and I have such fond memories of growing up in the barn. Uh, my first show was Raggedy Ann and Andy in 1995. I think SPCT had just celebrated their like 25th anniversary, so I'm feeling very old. <laughs> but um, yeah, there was a period of time where I was doing every show. I think right after Raggedy Ann and Andy was Gypsy, starring the amazing Lynn Najum. And the next season, I think I did every single show, whether on stage or off. I was dressed up as a priest at one point and doing scene changes during Nonsense. Um, you couldn't kick me out of the barn. I had just found the place where I felt like I belonged. Um, then when I was 15, I saw the SPCT was looking for a director for their children's show. And I thought, oh, I want to be a director at age 15. Uh, so I got an appointment to meet with the board and I had gotten my director's concept. I'd cut a bunch of pictures out from magazines and glued them onto a manila folder to present to the board with my concept. And, you know, hubris, 15 year old thinking they could direct. And I got it. The SPCT gave me my first directing gig. And now I'm a professional director. I live here in New York City. I've directed shows all over the country and in the UK. I'm currently on the MFA directing faculty at the Actor Studio Drama School at Pace University, a home of Inside the Actor Studio with James Lipton, if you've seen that show. Uh, I'm also on the theater faculty at the City University of New York, but it was at Sun Prairie Civic Theater where I got my start. Um, I just remember having the freedom to walk up and down that hallway in the basement of the barn and I would look at all the props and I would look at all the costumes and I would look at all the set pieces and that's where my creativity started as an artist. I would just imagine what that piece of scenery was, what show that was from, where did that costume, who wore that costume. Um, and even after I had um, moved away, Connie and Elaine would still let me come to the barn and borrow props and costumes um, for shows I was directing all over Wisconsin. So the kindness and the generosity continued even after I was moved away. And I kept coming back. I came back to direct Steel Magnolias, which was beautiful. And I know I'm just one of many, many stories of people who grew up at the barn and made a life in the arts. But I just want to say thank you to Sun Prairie Civic Theater. Uh, happy anniversary. Please continue to give space for weird little kids like me, uh, the opportunity to be who they are, and to finally find a community that they belong. Happy anniversary.